scotch, bourbon and rye. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of Trenny and C. I'm Tranny, this is C, Hello. but most importantly, we got Dr. Don with Do us today. Dr. D. Dr. D. Livermore. Dr. D, there. Uh, and he is going to be discussing the alumni series, the the hockey guys, the hockey guy bottles, and they're, as they prefer to be called. The hockey guy bottles? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A real sportsman. Okay. This I is... know my sports. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Tranny C and Dr. D. Those are good. When he, when <laughs> this, when Wendell <laughs> Clark got his first touchdown, I was like, Whoa, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, leave it to the CFL or NFL. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. uh, yeah. Do we want to yeah. take right away? Sure. Just, well, tell us how you kind of, how did you get this idea? Like, wh where did this come from? We haven't seen a hockey whiskey before other than Mr. Hockey. Gretzky himself. But yeah. Kind of yeah. doing his own thing, but. Uh... Uh, the idea came out of uh, Corby, which is uh, our uh, sales and marketing company out of Toronto. Um, couple of guys in the office uh, knows the guys from the NHL Alumni Association and they got chatting back and forth and uh, and they said, well, why don't we come out with an NHL Alumni series of whiskeys? And well, what do we mean by that? How, how, how do we partner with one another? So what had happened is that the NHL partnered with Corby. Uh, on every sale of the bottle, half the profits will go to the NHL Alumni Association, okay. the other half goes to Corby. Uh, a lot of the hockey players, when they exit the game, uh, they have to go on to their second career, and a lot of them aren't as fortunate as the big players. Right. I mean, the average life of the NHL, yeah. yeah, the average life of, the, of an NHL hockey player today is three years. So, okay. um, so that so money, golf is like a fifty-year career. Yeah. So, uh, which which sport would you choose? Right? Okay. Uh, no, and, and half the money goes to that the NHL Alumni Association yeah. for what they fund, and and uh, and that and that's how it started. And then then lo and behold, well, what players do we? That we partner with. So. That's a big question, I think. That yeah, that's, wants. That's How did you land on those players? And you can tell us or save it who's yeah. next. Because, you know, we did notice, of course, that they're numbered to six, but there's only three out Three or six, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can talk about that. Um, so we worked with Glenn Healy. He's the president of the NHL okay. Alumni Association. Yeah. And uh, he reached out to the players that were willing to partake and obviously use, use their names uh, to put onto the bottle. And... Uh, and they chose six, and the first three that they, they chose was Guy Lafleur and Lanny McDonald and Wendell Clark as the first three, and uh, an opportunity uh, for these guys to come to our distillery where we actually sat down and did Blending 101 with Very Dr. Cool. Don. And we Very went cool. through uh, the 40 or 50 different ingredients that I have, and they sat there, I like this one, I like this one, I like this one. Of, of course, they helped them steer, steer yeah, which way they want to go. Direction, for sure. and, and, and what we wanted to do was create whiskeys that represented the style. Okay. How these okay. Guys okay. That's right. what I, I was wondering. The bold and tenacious uh, Wendell Clark. Yeah, that, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're already leading to, yeah, the, to the last one yeah. I have, but, but certainly Gila Fleur with the soft hands, right? You uh, wanted that yeah. nice soft hands, and... Uh, and certainly that's a 10 year old whiskey. So the Easter egg uh, sure. that we talked about that was on it. So we certainly wanted to make sure that was a 10 year old whiskey. So these are the little bit of the directionals that we uh, uh, steered with these guys. And each of these whiskeys certainly won uh, in terms of the awards at the Canadian Whiskey Awards this year, which wow, is fantastic. Here yeah. these guys are blending whiskeys and now they're winning awards. <laughs> <laughs> They're professional. Do I really need to do my job? Anymore? Yeah. I mean, no. I mean, <laughs> we we kind of have a running joke that like when it comes to celebrity bottlings, like we yeah. we our running joke is that Matthew McConaughey was presented with two two very nice barrels <laughs> yeah. from Wild pick Turkey. One. And pick one, Matthew. Uh, that one, excellent choice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you got to believe whiskey, whiskey the experts, but I, I'm sure even there they they said, well, this is what you're looking for in a whiskey and right. and etc. And and certainly when we work, talk to each of these three ones. We, we kind of went to, went down in those directions, and it, it, it was a partnership, I guess. Sure. I sat down with those guys, and to be honest with you, meeting these gentlemen, was, it was fantastic. Well, it was a childhood It's, it's an honor. I was yeah, say, yeah, was yeah, I, mean, uh, I can't believe that you didn't have any part in this selection here. Yeah, well, yeah, Guy Lafleur was my, I actually talked to Guy at the time, and he said, That's you know, terrible. yeah, I said, yeah, I, I had your jersey when I was 10 years old, he looked at me, and the last thing he wanted to hear was me talking about having a jersey as a kid, but... <laughs> Uh, he it, it was one of like very bright individual, and and he was very he really was diving in sure. into making the selection of whiskeys. That's really cool. And how we put so on they were that. they were excited and passionate about what oh, they were getting. Oh yeah, all yeah. three of these guys were very passionate. 
and their personality shine through uh, in when I talk to them. But I, I, I probably had uh, an hour with each of them uh, sitting and talking, uh, blending very whiskey. Cool. How cool was that? That is very cool. That, that is a childhood really, dream. Really cool. Yeah. Shall we uh, try the yeah, uh, first try. one? So this is the Gila Fleur. The Gila Fleur uh, <clears throat> is a lighter style whiskey. Uh, he had soft hands. Uh, there are three components into it because we were thinking of a hat trick. Oh, yeah, that's right. yeah, so there's yeah. kind of an Easter egg right there. Yeah, the that's Easter three egg. goals, Trenny. It's <laughs> three goals in one game. Okay, I get it. I got it. I get it. Yeah. And so yeah, three okay, whiskeys sure. into it, and it's it's all 100% corn whiskey, which is light distilled whiskey. And it's about the barrels that we finished it in. Uh, they were finished in uh, rum casks. So it was a little bit of the rum cask in it. Uh, American bourbon cask and used Canadian whiskey barrels, and the three of them combined together, nice, soft, easy sipping mm. Canadian style. Whiskey. And what was the percentage on this one? It was uh, forty percent. Okay. Cheers to that. One. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. And so we felt that like each one of these was nice. very soft, distinctly yeah. different yeah. as the players are. Yeah. But this one was most reminiscent, I guess, because of the rum cast to like a Pike Creek. Yeah. Right. Right away, I can yeah, say it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's very similar to Pike Creek, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yes, it is. It's all, it has like that kind of almost burnt sugar kind of uh, burnt sugar, so, a little bit of the molasses, yeah. uh, ginger, ginger snap cookie sometimes. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting so that you like. So is this one only available in Quebec? It's only available in Quebec. Uh, and our JP Weiser's company store. Uh, so you'd have to go to jpweiserstour.ca to go and look to see if there's any available there. But oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a fantastic, easy style whiskey. I mean, uh, very smooth. I would picture that something after dinner. Mm, nice yeah. spicy meal kind of thing. And uh, I think that would be the occasion that I would certainly partake in mm -hmm. a sure. whiskey. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, we didn't even, like, it was, I think it's written right on the bottle that it's from cask. And right away, so, for some, well, for no, some we reason, didn't. we were reading all the other stuff. We didn't read that, and then we're like, oh, this is very rummy. It has like a rummy. Kind of <laughs> and they're like, yeah, oh, it right says it right on the bottle. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, just, that, if we that, just read a little further, we would have known that. Yeah, and, that, and that's what, uh, you know, Guy, he, he really liked the light smooth. And that's what a lot of Canadians like. It's a smooth that's whiskey. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smooth whiskey. I mean, I know the audience here is probably looking at maybe bigger, bolder style of whiskeys, but the majority of Canadian whiskey is that smooth style. And that's well, what traditionally is in Canada. And I think a lot of people like, they mix their whiskey with, you know, sodas and mm -hmm. different things. So yeah, I, I know I, I picture this as like almost like a brandy decanter. Yeah, and, and oh yeah, like, it's neat for sure. Put yeah. your smoking jacket on or something. Yeah, like that's that's, that's sure. kind of how I visualize uh, this put whiskey. Put your Gila Fleur jersey on, and, and <laughs> there you go. I don't think mine fits <laughs> anymore. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, oh, it's it's a fantastic uh, mm -hmm. sipping whiskey for sure. Very good. Okay. All right, let's move on let's to move the next one. Land so. The Lanny McDonald whiskey is a 40% uh, whiskey that uh, is a three grain. Okay. Lanny was such a wonderful gentleman. Oh yeah. Nice, nice guy. Uh, when he came to the distillery, he, uh, he took the time to walk around and talk to every employee and, yeah. was, he, and he shook their hand. I mean, it was, he was a guy that you could sit down and have a drink with and he would just tell story after story. That's cool. Um, Imagine lot, the stories people, these guys have though, oh, right? Yeah. I mean, fantastic. And a lot of people in the distillery must have appreciated that. Oh, too. they're asking for his autograph. Yeah, course, oh, course. yeah, yeah. Lenny McDonald, bust, you know, yeah. mustache back in the yeah, day. Oh, for sure. Um, and he often talked about his childhood. Actually, when I went around all the uh, blends of whiskey uh, that he was picking out and right away he went to the Red Winter Wheat. Okay. He said, I remember as a kid just shoveling that on the farm in Saskatchewan. Mm -hmm. I was uh, going to say that like, he was from Saskatchewan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, and he talked about that, uh, that he, he was from the farm in Saskatchewan. I worked with my dad in the grain, grains and shoveled them around. He said, this has got to be my blend. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what this, this is really about is his farming background. Uh, he, I, certainly the Western Canada, you think of wheat and you think of rye. And has corn as a third grain, so it is a blended style of whiskey, and we just wanted to bring that together. And and what he was. It's interesting, and it's cool that he had a uh, reason behind his choices mm -hmm. of different things. You know, that that's great. Yeah, and I often say blending whiskey is not about my taste as a master blender. Heaven forbid that you you <laughs> you want the whiskey that I want to drink. It's about making and creating whiskeys for you, for you, for you. Uh, and that, that's what we're trying to achieve here. I mean, I think every whiskey has its own thing. There's not one bad whiskey, as you know. I mean, it's just, what is the occasion? Well, who's the audience right. who's drinking? Okay. Yeah, the question of, well, what's your favorite whiskey? Yeah. yeah, yeah you can't answer that. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's a terrible question. Yeah. No, you can't answer that, obviously. But uh, 
This one's going to be a little bit more complex, certainly than mm. the Guy Lafleur is the smooth, the smooth hockey player. This is more into to yeah, the right notes around the nose. But I'm getting time. fruitiness now. Like, mm. I think so. We did have. Yeah, I'm getting the rye hit there too. Mm. Oh, we man. did have one complaint from the marketing side of things. Yeah, they people mm. actually. Um, were, we've gotten some suggestions. Yeah, a lot of yeah, feedback about, about this. So I always heard feedback, and, and the feedback <laughs> was the that really the should have come with this on it here. It really should have. <laughs> like, it would have been a lot better. <laughs> that's the add-on. I, that, I mean, that's, that look, yeah, that's right. That's, that's better. better. It tastes better now. Yeah. <laughs> I have absolutely nothing to do with packaging. Okay. The liquid inside the bottle. <laughs> yeah, okay. The packaging that that somebody else's department. Just, we're just giving the people what they want. Yeah. yeah. They want a mustache on the bottle. Exactly. That's all. Oh man, yeah. That's uh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that one. We gotta remove it if it's making you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> it's not making me uncomfortable. It's if it's the whiskey that's certainly yeah. what I'm after. For it's sure. really raised it now. The nose is <laughs> it's like there's a big bushy mustache in my way now. <laughs> there's a <laughs> I, know, I was gonna say there's another yeah. glass, but uh, yeah. But we uh we have a we have a term at Trinity and see it's crushability. <laughs> it's it, just like drinkability, but really just putting it back and this one has a crushability to it like it's just yeah. so smooth and drinkable do you know do you know what the word I, that i use what's that it's called sessionability mm. session okay same idea yeah, yeah. sessionability yeah yeah, yeah. 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 how many well it's kind of like a beer term too with the uh session ales and whatnot yeah yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely but yeah you would beer background you exactly know what, uh, know what i'm talking about is it heavier more in the uh, or well, it's, it's, it's kind of a, so drinkable and it's smooth. light and drinkable and there's this nice rye notes on this one now that i'm tasting it again mm. A lot of rye. I get the clove. Clove. Cloves is certainly rye. Yeah. Eugenol. What's that? Eugenol. 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 Right. Spell it. Of course. I, I need that. Yeah. <laughs> eugenol is eugenol. A, yeah, yeah, and that that comes from rye. It comes from okay. rye. Certainly is the what you yeah, actually big clove taste on that one for mm. sure. For sure. Yeah. Uh, Very good. Very good stuff. Oh, uh, Lanny. Uh, Lanny was a pleasure. I mean, he 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 really. Brought forth what he thought of his childhood, and I think that's that was fantastic what he was doing. I have to read another viewer question uh, for you about this specific <laughs> Lanny McDonald. Was, uh, McDonald was, uh, uh, as a Montreal Canadiens fan, how did it feel to have Lanny McDonald working with you, knowing he crushed your soul in 1989? I remember that game too. <laughs> <laughs> Is that too much? <laughs> Yeah, I remember that game, but 1989 was a long time ago, but I, I still can see him. You still yeah. have 94. He had to so stay on the key to helmet, right? Yeah, still, right. You can still, I can still picture him raising that cup. Uh, oh, for it sure. does have a bitter tears. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's where it comes from. Uh, but oh, you know what? Sorry about that. <laughs> But you know what? Hockey, hockey's a game. You battle it out. Exactly. You fight it out. At, well, the, end, at the end of the day, you shake hands. That's right. And, and it's what makes it exciting and what makes it Canadian. Too, like, because there's that level of politeness to it all. I, I think right, you know? I don't know if you probably have Canadians as your viewership. You know how many times you played that beer league hockey game and everybody just battles it out at the end of the day. You know, and then you're you're out the hands. Shake right, hands. Exactly. And that, that's exactly. certainly very Canadian. I don't know how many sports do that. Shake hands. Uh, that's a Canadian thing. And uh, meet Lanny after that. Yeah, yeah. Of, of course, there's a bitter tear. But uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, at the end of the day, meeting the guy, beautiful, beautiful man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's fantastic. Very good. Good for the game of uh, hockey for sure. Awesome. Cheers. Mm. Okay, so move on to the final. So the Wendell Clark, uh, certainly, uh, he had his own personality as well. He was, you, you can tell he was a just a thinker. Yeah. He was really thinking through what he's doing, really taking in in blending the whiskeys and looking, going through the blends of it. But, but just talking to him about it, and you could tell the captain of the Leaf, he energized the Leaf, he played with that edge. <clears throat> um, we said, well... How can you translate that into Canadian whiskey and, of course, rye? Yeah, yeah. right. Rye is that spicy. This is our 100% rye. 41.6%. Is there an Easter egg in there? No, there is an Easter egg in there. You. Have yeah. you figured it out what the Easter egg is? I, w I went through some stats and I wasn't exactly sure what, uh, what, what to that associate was. with. Well, it's nothing to do with his hockey play. Oh, okay. Do you guys have any friends that live in Toronto? Uh, we know some other reviewers and whatnot. Do you know what their phone number is? Four one six area code. Yeah, the four one six area code is is what we're uh, striving for there, and that's why. I it's gotcha. There's yeah. so many little. Uh, yeah, where to, what do you, you wouldn't you wouldn't 
My, do you come I'm up with penalty it? minutes? And yeah, I mean, we, yeah, I have a say in that. Absolutely. Right. There, there's the Easter eggs that we go back and forth. Can't quite remember who came up with the 41 6 in, in this case, but it was, it was uh, certainly it's Toronto. That's fine. Toronto. Yeah, Anybody that's in fine. the GTA that's certainly knows that Toronto. LCBO released this one, won the gold medal at the uh, Canadian Whiskey Awards. So that was the highest one of the three here. Yep. Um, and certainly the 100% rye is, is driving. I, I think the level on this one shows that we agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? I can tell you guys are rye drinkers. Imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I mean, it's so like yeah. lot 40 ish. It is. It's, just, it's, it's got a little reminds, bit of lot 40 in it. It's got some it reminds lot 40s of lot 40 for sure. It's got some uh, lot 40s as a column in the pot distilled. Uh, but we can also just plain call them distilled rye. So it's a mix of the two. Okay. It's a mix of the two types of distillations to it. Uh, but like you said, it had that reminiscence of mm -hmm. Lot 40. And certainly he, he was a smooth but aggressive hockey player. And that's really what we want to treat, achieve. And uh, I think it represents how he played as a Leaf. Yeah, I mean, 300 plus goals, but also the guy will go and punch somebody in the mouth. And maybe yeah. Like, and, I mean, and at the same time, he, he'd go in there and be the first guy to touch the puck and get a hit. He, yeah. he would take the hit yeah, for the right. team. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he, he just a versatile all-round player. Um, and hopefully that can translate in, into this whiskey here. And uh, I think this one's fantastic. It certainly deserves oh, a gold great. medal, uh, certainly. And uh, he did a fantastic job, certainly, on blending this whiskey here. And we have we have a few comments already on our uh, so we released a uh, the Guy Lafleur, then the Wendell Clark, then the uh, then the Lenny McDonald videos for the unboxings. Yeah, so okay, we yeah. we did the our, our initial tastings of them and just released them over the last couple of days, and uh, people are like, I mean they're they're amazed and they they love the Wendell Clark one. I mean yeah oh yeah this was yeah everyone's talking about this one for sure yeah and, and even and after they watch our video they're like. Oh, now hearing, hearing that, like, because you don't well, go buy go buy a bottle. Is what I tell if you're people watching, go buy a bottle. That's it. And, but that's yeah, the thing is that yeah. they don't um, like. There's nothing on the bottle that says it tastes like Lot Forty. But as soon as we say that, people are like, "Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm going out to buy two of them." Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. And then that's the thing, and it's got the JP Weiser's. Uh, well, and that comes along with that. with it. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. So, but uh, I mean, I, I, it is fantastic you guys to pick up on that. It comes with that lot of lot forty uh, fan base too, though. Yeah, as yeah. soon as they hear that, they're like, "Oh, I didn't know that," because you know, like we kind of associate each of these with with one of the brands. They are they are very unique each bottle, right? So yeah. you know, when we kind of associate them with one, in our opinion, it may be right well, or wrong. You always have to use something as a uh, a baseline. A baseline. Yeah, yeah, like, and, okay, this reminds me of a Pike Creek, and this yeah. reminds me of a well, you know. But isn't that whiskey tasting? You go back. Oh, this reminds me of this in my childhood. Or this reminds yeah. me. Yeah, that, that that really is. Well, it's it's yeah. it's anything like music. Like oh, this band actually reminds me of yeah. know, whatever. You know. So the next three. Ah yes, we've got we to want, want the big three. reveal. Um, we do want the. There's been predictions. There's a lot of predictions. Okay, I, I, this before is the I premiere. A premiere uh, <laughs> have you posted it anywhere else? Did I you have know? said it to two <laughs> other interviews, which I oh, don't okay. know have been posted yet. Okay. We're putting this so, one out tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Internet exclusive. Go. Yeah. Uh, I, I know I was interviewed uh, at the Canadian Whiskey Awards, and, and they know what's coming next. But uh, So did you want to guess, or did you want well, me to tell? Well, we kind of thought that the uh, <laughs> you can't, in a way, maybe do Wayne Gretzky. No, we can't do it. And I don't know if Wayne's actually part of the NHL Alumni Association. Oh, so you got to remember okay. that this, you have to be part of the NHL That's Alumni. It's going to make it difficult. So, sure. we were, yeah, we were, I'm not, I don't know if he is or not. And then, I, so then that, does that uh, take away modern, uh, players. modern players? Like the that are playing today. Yeah, the, they're playing today. Yeah. They would not be part of the. Okay, okay. okay. so let's just figure they can't be like a retired. Yeah, I guess they're not two guys. So, yeah, you got to be part of the alumni to be part of it. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you just tell us? Yeah, sure. At the risk of us looking stupid. Do you have a, do you have a, a guess? Do you want to throw a guess? Well, it depends. Like, I was kind of thinking regionally, too, right? Because yeah. you had, you know, you had gone to these different regions, and then I thought, well, is it based on where the person was born? Because, but then Lanny McDonald kind of threw that yeah, out, Yeah, that's right? one thing we're going to change on the next one. I think they're going to release it across Canada. That, that was a feedback. So we do listen to consumers that they, yeah. so they will come across Canada, but... We the, the intent was when we made the other three because the other three came at the same time uh, to the story, so we did all just all did six of yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but the intent we'll we'll do the next three across. So we were kind of I was trying to think like provincially. Yeah, but that was a good thought. Which guy? Yeah. You know, I'm like okay in BC, you know, probably. Like, okay, so the, let's go with the Montreal Canadian. Who the next Montreal Canadian? In my mind, I mean, I <laughs> I don't know hockey. He's not great with us. Yeah. <laughs> so I might be completely off, but I was. Thinking Lemire. 
Lemieux was not a Montreal Canadian, but he was from, mm, from uh, Montreal, Quebec, right? Yeah. So he was, like, Le- Mario Lemieux was my favorite player growing up, but he wasn't a Montreal yeah, Canadian. So that's out. Yeah. So that's out. Right? Well, am I wrong? Yeah, no, you're wrong. Because <laughs> okay. he didn't play on several Montreal levels. Canadians. You're yeah. wrong on several levels. All right, levels. so the Montreal Canadian that's going to come out is Larry Robinson. Okay, so that he's, he's like a huge stat guy and like a huge name, but he's also kind of um, in the shadows a little bit, I feel. Like, I don't know he's as respected as he should be. Brilliant guy, too. He right. was really into making the whiskeys. He was yeah. in there for him, and, and you, you could tell why he was a, a GM and a coach for a yeah. team. Ooh. You could tell he, he was just, he was really into it. It, it. it was a really, really, really interesting man to talk to, and uh, he was right into it. I, I, I liked uh, blending the whiskey with him. And uh, we'll stay tuned as uh, maybe we'll get a, onto a podcast for our next release of this. Yeah, we can. No, that's awesome. Right. So, yeah. um, so the next Western Canada one, it's uh, he played for the Oilers. Is the next one? Uh, well, you got a lot. And of for the, and for the Detroit Red Wings. So oh, okay, that narrows Wings. it down. So you got like um, uh, in the heydays, yeah, you're talking about Paul Coffey. There you go. Okay. Paul Coffey. There you go. Paul Coffey is uh, the next guy. That's Paul Coffey. Coffee still. I don't have a coffee still. <laughs> yeah, I like where you're going yeah. with that, but uh, no, it, it's a little bit more high octane whiskey. It's okay. going to be a little bit of higher strength, that's but that's awesome. how Paul played. That's great. That's how Paul played. And but I mean, uh, the numbers, the, the yeah, there was one with there this guy. There's an Easter egg. In there is an Easter egg on that one. Yeah. Uh, I believe it was forty-eight or forty-nine percent. I can't remember. I mean, he's there's a reason up, for it. Putting oh. up top points for like yeah. a forward. As a defenseman. Yeah. So yeah, the one we had is for the amount of most goals he got in that season. That's right. Okay. Cool. So awesome. you'll have to look it up uh, for your viewers right there. And the last one is a Leaf. And he's from St. Jacobs, Ontario, which probably means nothing to you guys. Oh, that's tough. But he was also a captain of the Leafs way back uh, when in the day, in the, uh, in the uh, 70s. And he had the most oh, points 70. in a game. Sittler, Sittler, Daryl Sittler, yes. Yeah. Ten points in a game, so that's that's ten points in a game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know some stats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that amazing. Remember that? Thinking, yeah. well, I, I, I was like Sutter brother, Sutter brother. No, Sittler, it's Sittler. Yeah, Daryl Sittler, uh, and uh, it's going to be a complete opposite of, of what this whiskey is more into the blending side of stuff, and uh, it's his theme on his whiskey will be based around ten because he got six goals and four assists in a game. Yeah. Okay. That that was. That was his big claim Six of fame. Goals. Oh, for sure. Four assists. In yeah, one, one like, hockey game. Yeah, wow. You would assume that would be like a Gretzky stat. Yeah, you yeah, assume that'd be Gretzky. Mean. I've seen kids in Timbit hockey to get six. Yeah, yeah. You never see that in yeah. NHL. Six mm. goals and four assists in a game. And Amazing. I don't know if it'll be a stat that will ever, ever get uh, again, but uh, I love nice the, man as well. I love the stat of the the brothers that have the, the most goals. <laughs> yeah, that's a great <laughs> stat. No, 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 no. So no. the stat is With, like everyone thinks the Sedins. Yeah. But it's actually like it's Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky and his brother that got two Brett. goals. Oh, <laughs> Brett, no. Brett Gretzky was on the Tampa Bay Lightning for like two games no or something. Way. And it's like, but Wayne has nine hundred himself, so it's like <laughs> the highest scoring I brothers are Wayne and Brett. Yeah. That is a cool stat. That is a great cool stat. Anyway, cheers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got a little bit there. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Good stuff. Oh, I got a little dribble in here. Well, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we will have more from Dr. Don. Yeah. Drinking whiskey, describing all the flavors for you and me. Irish, scotch, bourbon, and rye. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Subscribe on YouTube.